A man is dragging a trunk up the loading ramp of a mover's truck. The ramp has a slope of 20 degrees. And the man pulls upward with a force F whose direction makes an angle of 30 degrees <coughs> with the horizontal. In letter A, how large a force F is necessary in order for the component F sub X parallel to the plane be 28 newtons? So your F sub X is given to be 28.0 newtons. And you are asked, what should this F be? In letter A. So we can solve this by using cosine 30 is equal to the F sub X over the F. F being our hypotenuse. And this is F sub X, the X component. Okay. The F sub X is already given to be 28.0 newtons. Okay. Divide this by cosine 13, so we will get F. Okay, so the F is equal to 32.3 newtons. If we follow the rules of significant digits, this would be 3 significant, 32.3 newtons. In letter B, how large will the component F sub Y be? This one, F sub Y. So we are still given F sub X to be 28 newtons and we would like to get F sub Y given an angle of 30 degrees. We can use tangent 30 is equal to F sub Y over F sub X. In this case, our F sub X is equal to 28.0 newtons. So solving for 28.0 newtons, we just move this to the other side of the equation, you get 28 times tangent 30. This will give us 16.2 newtons. Three significant figures. In letter C, what is the weight of this trunk? We know that uh, to keep this trunk at rest, the sum of forces along the x should be equal to zero. And then what would be the forces along the x-axis. You have um, <coughs> the weight, let's call that negative F, Wx, and the force that you supply, F sub x, which is positive. Our F sub x is uh, 28.0 newtons. It's given, so we can solve for F sub Wx. But what is F sub Wx? F sub Wx is Fw sine 20 newtons. Move this to the other side. Negative Fx is negative 28.0 newtons. Therefore, solving for F sub W, you will get 28 newtons divided by sine 20. This will give us 81.9 this is now the weight of the trunk, this trunk.